All right, guys, let's go ahead and head on over to Xenia.jp. The link to this page will be in the description below. Once you're here, look to the left and find download. And before you download this emulator, if you would like to see the system requirements for this emulator, go ahead and click here on system requirements. Once you read that, you can go ahead and download master. Click it and your download should start. I now have the file downloaded and saved on my desktop. Now we need to extract this file and I use 7-zip to extract my files. If you guys need to download 7-zip, I will have a link to 7-zip in the description below. Once you have it downloaded, come back to this file and all you want to do is right click on it, go to 7-zip and extract here. Now we are going to move all of our extracted files into a new folder. Let's create a new folder. Right click, new folder, and I'm gonna call it Xbox 360. Now let's move all of our extracted files into this new folder. Now let's open the folder. And we are gonna create another folder inside of this folder. And we're gonna call this one portable.txt. Now we want to open that Xenia emulator. So go ahead and click on the emulator and then you want to close it right away. After you open the emulator and close it for the first time, a text file is going to be created within this folder called Xenia.config. And this is where we can get to our settings for the emulator. Let's go ahead and open it. Now I know this looks overwhelming and unlike any other emulator, and honestly, it can be. So I suggest leaving everything here at its default settings. But if you're having issues with a particular game, then just do some research on that game and what can be changed here to help that game perform better. But one thing you may wanna change is right here under content, if you're playing disc games, leave this at zero. But if you're playing Xbox Live Arcade games, you wanna change this to one. Now let's open the emulator. And also there is no setup for your controller required. Your controller will work as long as you have a Bluetooth connection with your PC. In my case, I am using an Xbox One controller. Now let's load up a game. Let's go up to file, open. Locate wherever you keep your 360 ROMs. In my case, I keep mine on an external hard drive. I have one in here, Gears of War Judgment. And the file type needs to be this image file. Select the game and it should load up. Now, if you would like to go full screen, you want to go up to display, full screen. 